Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Formix SN39 Malachi dial limited to 100 pieces and I'm going to be giving my honest review, my thoughts and opinions on this watch. So here we go. Alright, so here we go, the Formex Essence 39, they only make 100 pieces of this a year. And um, quickly we'll go over the dimensions, 39 millimeters, um, case diameter, uh, pretty thin, 10 millimeters in height. The lug width is 20 millimeters and uh, lug to lug we have 45 millimeters. This goes down to 100 uh, meters of water resistance and uh, it's made of 316L steel. So the most impressive part of this watch here is definitely the dial. It is a cut from stone. It's a malachite dial. It has very interesting lines. It's been cut from the stone. So I believe that every dial should be unique. And when I first got this out of the box, I was just like, wow, this is a very, very beautiful dial. It's a dial that belongs on, you know, some kind of other upper echelon brands. I know Rolex has a few off catalog Malachite dials here. Um, Omega has a gold version, I believe, of their Seamaster 300 with the Malachite dial. And I haven't seen a lot of other stone dials in green like this. So when I saw it, I really wanted to get my hands on it. And I was very fortunate to uh, pick one of these up. Uh, linked in the card above is a little shipping fiasco that I had with this watch. You guys can check that out. But on to the review. One of the more interesting aspects of the watch here, I think is the date window. It's framed, but it has some solid sides on the end. And it just looks, um, it's a kind of a date window I've never seen before. And I think it works well with the watch. The date doesn't look too smushed in there and it just um, works perfectly with the watch. One of the things that I mentioned earlier it does have a hundred meters of water resistance but it does not have a screw down crown and at this price point this watch was i believe 1860 uh, shipped to my door and at this price point i would like to see a screw down crown it does have their uh their logo here etched on the crown which is uh which is always nice to see and a watch of this um at this price point but the screw down crown portion is kind of it's kind of a negative for me if it if it doesn't have a screw down crown although it does say 100 meters of water resistance i have other watches uh that aren't screw down crowns that have 100 meters as well but i still would be weary taking it in the water so that might take it away from an everyday type of wear one of the uh one of the things that they have um is this uh they say this uh, case design is for shock resistance which i think is uh, a nice uh, little addition to it you know they say you can go bike riding or play tennis or whatever and that extra um extra little um makes it um more shock resistant so i guess that's kind of nice but with a dial like this you're probably not going to be taking it out uh, for any kind of sporting activities this is more a dress dress watch here so other things that um, uh, I mentioned earlier lug to lug is 20 and the bracelet has a you know a kind of unique design it's not exactly an oyster bracelet it is a three link bracelet here but the, one of the things that I don't like about this bracelet is that on this link under the clasp it's like a full size link which is I guess all these other other links are half half links here but I'm not sure why they needed this so what I tried to do when I was sizing it I tried to I removed this link and I tried to put this link all the way down here but for some reason it didn't seem to fit so I think they really want you to have this uh, larger class or they really want you to have this larger link here I guess is for the for the clasp on the bottom the bottom of the clasp here just so it's I don't know I really don't know why they would include it because on this side it doesn't have a full um, a full link going on here so this just really makes the watch kind of I mean it 
it kind of irks me. Like I, I think other people, I, I saw it on the a group post as well that somebody mentioned this too, but I, I saw this first and I was just like, yeah, this is a very weird link that they have. They could just have two smaller links and I don't think the watch would wear any different. So that's one of the things I don't like about this, uh, this watch here and the bracelet. And the other thing, they do have a micro adjust, which I do appreciate on certain watches, but this micro adjustment is just kind of, it's kind of, you pull the link out and there's like an extra space here. So when you close the clasp, it just is like a, a gap and it, it really kind of ruins the aesthetic of this watch. So you have a fat link over here, then you just have a big empty space over here, which I do not like that much. So those are a couple of things that I don't like about this watch. And we'll just try to go back to the positives here. Um, the dial is a positive. So the watch is 39 millimeters, which I don't have a problem wearing. But one of the things that I did notice about this watch is that even though the dial is very beautiful, the dial is very small. And actually my digital calipers actually broke on me, so I can't really measure it. But the dial, if you just look, so there's the bezel the bezel is a little thick because it has like the the part that goes up and then flat and then the rehot goes in kind of slanted down and then you have the dial so the dial is very very small so when you're looking at this watch it looks smaller and it wears smaller than it actually is so i believe that this watch um maybe for my wrist or maybe just my like viewpoint i would like it to be a 41 i know they have a 41 and a half and they have a third or i know they have a 41 and a half and a 43 and a half which the 43 and a half to me sounds very big for a non-rotating bezel watch but maybe with the size of the dial it really may wear better but the only thing is they don't make this dial this is the only really dial that really spoke to me other well actually I did want another one of their uh, Essence watches was the uh, Summer Splash colors. It was the purple because purple was like one of my colors too. But I haven't, uh, I don't have anything that's purple. So the only um, Malachi dial is the 39. And unfortunately the dial is so tiny that I think this watch may be too small for me just by looking at it. So let's compare uh, side by side with my Explorer 39. And you can just see the dial difference. So side by side with my Explorer 39, you can just see how the dial is just very, very small on this watch. Even though it is very beautiful, it is very small. So that's one of the negatives for me. If they start bringing this out in their 41.5 range, they're, I still think the 43.5 is going to be too big of a watch here. But um, yeah, I, that's some of the negatives for me is the size of the, the dial itself. It looks very small. I mean, it's not like it's illegible. The legibility is very good, but just that the dial is a little too small. So I think Formix won a micro brand tournament put on by Watch Crunch or one of the other uh, one of the other sites or something. But I, I believe it's a very well made watch, but there's a couple of things that I don't like. And I'll go over that again. It's the bracelet micro adjust this weird link here and the dial size but other than that i think it's a wonderful watch i'm probably going to be moving on from this watch kind of a catch and release type i wish it had uh worn better on my wrist but you know that's why um that's why we have these reviews here if you have a little bit of larger wrist and you kind of saw it on my wrist then maybe you could uh, stay away from this one or if you like the look of it then go ahead but the only way to really experience it is to have it in hand and then you'll know for yourself. But that's the, the downside of some of these micro brands. You're never going to be able to see it yourself. You can't walk into a store and just try it on. So you're going to have to bite the bullet, buy it, or maybe try to borrow it from somebody and then you can uh, judge it for yourself. But uh, that was a little lesson learned. I hope I can get most of my money back here. but. You know, if you like this type of video, I'm going to be putting this one up against a new Monta watch because 
like I said, this one won the um, Best uh, Micro Brand Award maybe for 2023. But I don't know if it really can compare to a Manta. You guys know that I'm a Manta fan. I have made a few videos about them already. But we'll see in the Versus video to come. So thanks again for watching another episode of Hawaiian Horology. And i see you guys on the next one. Shoots!